Hello. The purpose of this lesson is to get you an overview of the 360 estimator and show you how it can help grow your construction business. 360 estimator is simple, but a powerful construction estimating software that integrates with Craftsman Books to give you 100,000 cost items for your projects. Using 360 estimator you can manage your construction projects from the beginning to the end. Create outstanding bids. Create project takeoff. Send project proposals. Create cost reports. Project management. Engage with your customers. Here is a proposed workflow that will assist you to estimate your projects and finish them in time and within budget. First, you can add a project. From the main menu, press Add Project button, enter the project name, for example the standard foundation, and press Enter to open the project. You also can create a multi-level project by adding divisions and subdivisions for your project, or use a uniformat template to automatically create your work breakdown structure. If you want to link a customer for your project, from the bottom left corner, press Settings button and choose Partners page. Enter the name of the company, for example Taz Company, enter the name of your contact, for example David Smith, end the email adders, for example David at smith.us and press Save button. If you want to set the area of your project in order to be able to apply the area modification factor. From bottom left corner, press the settings button, choose properties, location settings for craftsman books. Select country, for example United States, select state for example Alabama, and select city for example Alabama average and press save button. Second, you can add cost items in your project, the works you want to execute. Press Enter to open the project. You can search for items by name or symbol. The program has access to Craftsman Books, a database with over 100,000 cost items for construction and installation works. Enter the keywords for your cost item, for example, excavator. Choose the right cost item. Enter the quantity for example 10 banked cubic yards, and press Enter key to add the unit item in your estimate. Cost items are the basics of an estimate, representing the quantity of work that needs to be done. A cost item has a symbol, description, material costs, labor costs and equipment costs for one unit. If you want to search for a unit item in a specific catalog, Open the items left panel and for example choose standard items, craftsman books, construction, residential division, concrete and press the search button. Choose the right item, for example, footing and foundation concrete, enter the quantity, for example 10 cubic yards, and press enter key to add it in your estimate. If you want to send the proposal to your customer, from the top right corner, press the Reports button, choose Estimate and press Export. Thirds, you can upload your blueprints and takeoff quantities. Select the cost item for which you want to calculate the quantity for example. Footing and Foundation Concrete and, using the contextual menu, choose Quantity Takeoff. Press the Add Blueprint button and choose the blueprint in PDF, DWG or JPG format from your computer. Enter the length of the longest line and draw it to set the scale for example 42 feet. In the top left corner, press the Areas button. On the blueprint draw the area using points for each corner. Press the save button when you finish the area. In the left panel, rename the parameter, for example bedroom 1, and verify the area calculated. 
Enter the modification factor if needed for example area times 0.8 feet thick divided by 27 to transform in cubic yards. Press the save button from the bottom left corner and verify the quantity calculated for your cost item. Fourth, you can modify your cost items. Select the cost item which you want to modify. Modify the name, symbol, unit price for materials unit price, labor unit price or equipment unit price directly in the table. For example modify labor unit price to $10 for each cubic yard. Fifth, you can generate a Gantt chart and calculate how long it will take you to finish the project. Open the Gantt tab. Modify the labor hour and number of workers to calculate the duration for your activity for example 20 hours, 2 workers. Or if you want to modify the time lapse calculated for your activities, select the right margin of the bar from the Gantt that represent the activity you want to modify and, using your mouse function drag and drop, change the end date on your Gantt chart. If you want to create a finish to start condition, select the finish point of the activity you want to include in your critical paths and, using your mouse function, drag and drop and link it to the start point in front of the activity which is conditioned. If you want to print the Gantt report you have to go on the top right menu, choose Export Gantt and open the PDF file with your Gantt chart. Sixth, you can track the progress of your project using cost reports and Gantt chart. Select the project for which you want to create a cost report, for example, Standard Foundations. Move on the Estimates tab and from the top of the table, press the plus button from the right of the proposal box. Enter the name and the date of the cost report, for example cost report 1, and press the save button. Enter the quantities currently completed for example 5 bank cubic yards for the first cost items and 4 cubic yards for the second cost item. From the top right corner, press the reports button. Choose the cost report and press export. The cost report is connected to your Gantt chart, and if you move on your Gantt chart, you can see the percent completed for each activity in your project. If you want to create the final cost report, select the project for which you want to create the final cost report, for example, Standard Foundations. Move on to the Estimates tab and from the top of the table, Press the plus button from the right of the proposal box. Enter the name and the date of the cost report, for example, final cost report, date June 29th. Check the complete remaining quantities and press the save button. From the top right corner, press the reports button. Choose the summary of cost reports and press export. Finally, you can go back to your customer page and see the information about your project updated in the history section of your customer. Customer relationship management is there to help you to keep the records of all contacts and projects for your customers. Also you can go back to your dashboard page and get a 360 view of your projects. Planning a calendar with your projects and cost reports. Project stages a funnel with your projects in different stages. User actions a summary of the activities of all the users. Estimates a list of your projects and their values. Projects a graphic with your projects and percent completed. Projects map a Google map with your building sites. 
All the information from your panels are linked to the project module, so you can see the details about your project simply by pressing one click. Also you can download the Estimator app on your mobile phone from Google Play or App Store. It connects with the web system and can either be used by itself or integrated, so that all your work is in one place.